Hello. Hello, everybody. I thought I'd start 10 seconds early to catch you all out. I hope you're well. Toby German here from Pangolin Photo Safaris and welcome to the finalists and winners announcement of the Black and White Challenge. I'm so excited to see you. Who we got here? We've got a few comments coming in. We've got 51 people here already. We'll give a, a couple of moments for people to uh, to get in. Um, emails are just flying around the place. And because I started a little bit early, I'll give them a chance. So um, welcome. I hope you are all well from wherever you are in the world. Um, please feel free to uh, leave a comment. Tell us where you're coming in from. And uh, we'll get started right away. OK, so here we go. The order of service. This is what I'm going to go through today. Um, Firstly, we are going to uh, give you an update on how to swap out images. There's been a few questions about that, so I'm going to do that for you. Um, then I'm going to announce the People's Choice winner. Um, shortly after that, we're going to quickly whiz through all 60 finalists in that video. The video is only four or five minutes long, but that means you get to see all the amazing finalists again. Um, and then I'm going to announce the winners. Um, so very simple. Um, so before we start, um, please don't forget, if you haven't yet, um, please go and subscribe. Um, you need to subscribe to the YouTube channel. We've got loads more content coming out there. If you've got any Sony fans, let us know in the comments because we've got some really cool Sony videos coming up. Um, so yeah, make sure you're subscribed to the channel because we do an awful lot here on YouTube. Um, next up, we need you to uh, give us a thumbs up as well because if you give us a thumbs up, then YouTube likes us even more um, and they spread the word. Um, if you haven't entered the challenge yet, then please do so. Yes, the first two challenges have gone, uh, but you can still enter images, which I'll explain again in a minute. Um, and it's great fun. I'm hoping you're all enjoying it very much. Um, and then also in the comments, we'd like you to start suggesting um, challenges for 2022. We're going to be doing this again next year. So this year we did four challenges. Uh, please, can you suggest some other ones? Let's go left field. Let's think about what you would like to do, uh, what you would like to photograph. Obviously, wildlife orientated, um, that's what we want. We don't want human portraits as such. Maybe we will, maybe we'll do that as well. So yeah, make some suggestions, leave it in the comments. Mike, who is monitoring the chat, will take a note of them and share it with me afterwards. So the portfolio prize reminder. Okay, at the end, remember to go into the grand prize. You've got to have four images, one from each challenge. So you can swap images out once you've entered them, even though the challenge has finished. So if you take a better black and white image next week, then please feel free to uh, go in, swap it out and change it. Um, that's really easy to do. Um, if you are struggling to do that, um, then please, all you need to do is actually change the title to delete. What I do is I go in once a day or once every other day and I go in and I find all the ones called delete and I go and delete them for you and that frees up a space because each person can only enter four images. So if you're having any problems, also click on the notify us and that email generally comes through to me and I will do my best to assist you. Okay, that's about it. Right, dates to remember. Um, Mammal Behaviour, which is the round now, is going to close on uh, 31st of October. Um, so you've got just under two months to go out and get that image, if you haven't already. Um, then we're going to close it. The judging starts. It's a two-phase judging process, which we go through. Um, and all the judges who are scattered around, I must say, some of them really had problems logging on. Some of them were in the Mara, the Serengeti. One or two of them were in Rwanda. It's amazing. Uh, but they managed to get on and do their judging. So thank you very much. If you're watching, guys, appreciate it. Um, the people's vote is going to close then on the 10th of November and the winner's show will be on the 17th. So we're trying to aim for Wednesdays and Wednesdays seem to be the sweet spot that everyone can enjoy. Okay, on to the first prize. So the first prize is for the black and white category people's vote. So we had thousands and thousands of people voting, really exciting. And the winner is... Andres Stunda from South Africa with this really enchanting image of an elephant strolling away from it. I really like this. Textures work really, really well in black and white. And I love the texture on the leg um, of, the, of the elephant walking away. And it's not very often that you see the underside of the foot of an elephant. It's probably the, the last thing that some poor unfortunate have seen. But uh, yes, yeah, so uh, congratulations, Andres. Um, really chuffed for you. We have a $1,000 voucher coming to you. 
as well as a body warmer, which is, as modeled by Charles and Sabine, looking like this. In fact, Charles and Sabine are currently, they just flew to Nairobi yesterday. So they are in Nairobi. Uh, they are going for two weeks. We've got two groups of people going to the Maasai Mara. Um, we've got spaces on our 2022 Maasai Mara, not many spaces left actually, but if you're interested, check out the website, but they're gonna be there. All the Wildermeers are really arriving. They're a bit late this year. Um, so they're coming in full flow. So they're gonna have a stunning time. Right, okay, reminder, black and white challenge prizes. The winner gets a five day photo safari at the Pangadin Chobi Hotel for two people worth $4,000. The runner up gets a $1,000 um, safari voucher coming through. And then we have three highly commended, which are $500 safari vouchers as well. Let me get rid of the, uh, the subscribe. There we go. So um, that's the prizes that are up for grabs. That's this is the Pangolin Chobi Hotel behind me, in case you haven't seen it. Maybe some of you have been there. If you've been there, let me know in the comments. Um, or more importantly, go and leave us a review on TripAdvisor. Um, right, just a funny one for you. So two months ago, Christoph Baranowski won Birds of the World. And I am delighted to tell you that Christoph is arriving in the Chobi on October the 30th. He could not wait. So he booked a flight and he's coming down. I believe he's going off to the Okavango Delta afterwards. So looking forward to meeting you, Christoph. He has shared his uh, website with us. So he's obviously going to be posting some images there. Uh, so I will leave that in the comments of this video as well for you to go and find his website. Uh, Christoph, looking forward to meeting you. Thank you very much for jumping on a plane. Germany has got very sensible travel uh, restrictions or non-restrictions, really. You're allowed to travel as long as you've been double vaccinated. We are hoping that that's going to be the rest of the world soon. So let's see. Okay, if you want to come to the show, we've got some amazing specials on at the moment. We have a deal on a uh, Best of Chobi Safari, which is on October the 7th, so not long now. Uh, four spaces, there's actually two spaces. Somebody booked the other two spaces this morning, so there's one cabin left on that. If you want to get away with the family, I suggest you jump on the houseboat, the Pangolin Voyager. These deals 70% off. These are all spaces that have been freed up by clients who can't travel, clients in the UK and Australia at the moment. So we've got spaces, selected spaces, contact us, we'll let you know what we've got. But that's amazing, really good deal. Five nights for 11,000, that's less than a thousand euros. That's super cheap. Um, okay, and then we've got the long stay special, which is running until March the 31st as well. So go to the website, there's a tag at the top called Photo Safari Specials, and there you will find all of these deals and the info. Right, the finalists, I'm gonna whiz through the finalists with you, and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna tell you who won. So uh, if you haven't seen this yet, put in the comments and tell us who you think is your winner. Enjoy.
So there we have it. Um, that is other extraordinary. I mean, I've got my favourites. Um, tell you what, whilst I'll give it a give it a minute, put in the comments which image you think has won. Um, no prizes, just bragging rights. So uh, go ahead, put those in. Um, I'm going to hang around at the end as well. So if you've got any other questions, then please um, let me know. Um, put them in the comments as well. Mike will keep an eye out for them as well. Um, but I think, uh, yeah, that. Uh, yeah, that snake was amazing, Penny. That's uh, very true. Um, okay, here we go. Let's go. These are these are the winners. Okay, first up, 
Alex Niels, this is a highly commended shot. So he gets a $500 voucher. So this is a, um, a bobcat, female bobcat hunting in Arizona. What a picture. I love the light coming from it sort of side on behind. It almost looks like there's a, there's a window uh, behind it, but that is extraordinary. Really good. Down at eye level. What a gaze. Excellent shot. Congratulations, Alex. That is excellent. Right. Moving on, the next highly commended image. The highly commended images are not in any particular order, uh, just so you know. Um, the next one here, um, I think somebody just mentioned it and said, uh, Tim Putt, yes, he said the lonely penguin. So if you haven't been to Cape Town, please go to Cape Town and go to Boulders Beach because there are penguins there in Cape Town. They're the only penguins really on the African continent. So um, I would suggest you go there. It is, well, I lived in Cape Town for 24 years, so I will tell you it's an amazing place. So uh, yeah, thank you very much, Andres. That is a beautiful shot, really emotive. Love the texture on the rocks. Again, black and white, lending, uh, lends itself to texture like that. Um, okay, the next highly commended image is from Gideon Malherba in South Africa. We've got a strong showing from South Africa today. This is a data in a lake um, in Franschhoek, again, just outside Cape Town. Um, famous for, obviously now it's darters, but also famous for exceptional wines. So uh, again, if you haven't been to Cape Town, if you're from Cape Town, here's an excuse, go and photograph darters in the morning and have lunch in the afternoon. There you go, that's a, that's a fun day out for you. Right, um, okay, the next one is the runner-up. Okay, so the runner-up is, Dennis Stogsdill from the USA. So apparently this was taken in Lake Ndutu in the Southern Serengeti. Um, the uh, lions apparently, or the lioness, was taking her cubs to a kill that was in the shallows of the lake. Um, they obviously have to work a little bit harder at this time of year because all the wildebeest migration are actually in the north. They're all up in the Mara. So if you go to Indutu, this region in February, that's when all the wildebeest are migrating down there. So it just goes to show how the uh, the lions have to really work for their food um, at this time, this time of year. So this was actually taken, I think, last month. Um, really, really cool shot. Love it. Lends itself again tells a brilliant story. Thank you very much, Dennis. Okay. So yes, yeah, so Dennis wins a uh, $1,000 voucher. Really, really good. Okay. And the winner of the black and white, uh, this, uh, and they win a trip to the Pangolin Trophy Hotel is this image. Boone Thompson from the USA. I love this image. In fact, when we posted the video about the finalists, I think there were more comments about this image, which just goes to show that our followers are very much um, of the same opinion that this is, ah, what a what a moment, what a shot. This is in the Maasai Mara. It was actually taken last month. So he's literally got back to the internet, <laughs> uploaded the image. What I really love is this is obviously a really popular tree with the elephants, because if you look at the texture on the, the trunk of the tree as well, it is properly worn down. So this is obviously a nice rubbing post for the elephants and obviously an opportunity to feed as well. So Really, really good, strong, strong showing from the USA and from South Africa, local and East African, Southern African, and Arizona to boot as well. So there we go. That is fantastic. There we go. Now, if you want to go and see these images, I've uploaded them. You can go to our website again, pangolinphoto.com. If I do a gallery.pangolinphoto, we've got all the images there. I've got all the birds of the world images. Um, we've got some lions, we've got all sorts of things, and I'm populating more and more galleries as we go along in there. So there we go. That is it. That's it from us, I think. Did I have another slide? No, I did not. Okie dokie. So there we go. 123 people watching this. This is awesome. Um, and I don't think I made any uh, any big mistakes. I hope not. Anyway, um, everybody, thank you so much for joining me. Um, I'm going to be doing a video soon with Helena Atkinson. Uh, we're going to do a live interview stream uh, all about the work that she's doing with pangolin conservation. She is currently at a conference with a whole load of other pangolin conservation fundies up in the Kruger National Park. So she's going to be back soon and she's going to update us on all the work that we have done and all the work that is being supported by you guys. So uh, thank you very much, all of you. If you've got any friends who you think should be entering the photo challenge, then uh, then send them, send them to us, get them involved. Um, we really hope you are enjoying this uh, as much as we are. 
it's going to be even bigger next year. I've got so many plans. So enjoy. Thank you very much. I hope to see you in the Chobi soon. Um, any questions? If you've got questions, then pop them in the comments down below, or you can go to the website and email me directly, and I will answer you. But uh, until then, thank you, thank you, thank you for all your support and, uh, and well wishes from around the world. Thank you very much. Take care and goodbye.